Hello friends, this is Uds, according to an anonymous source, and today we're doing another episode for the 50 wins in a row series. And if you've watched one of the many previous episodes, then you'll know that sometimes we've done 50 wins in a row with some very oppressive killers, such as Spirit, uh, Freddy, Pyramid Head, and so on. But today's is probably one of the most special yet, because we've done it with a killer that honestly is very, very hard to play without add-ons, which is uh, one of our rules. And getting to 50 was nothing short of a miracle. And when you watch some of the games that I'm going to show you later, you will understand just exactly what I mean. It was a very, very, very difficult, perhaps the most difficult 50 wins in a row yet. But we're going to get to that. If you haven't watched one of the videos before and you're not aware of our rules, I'm going to walk you through uh, some of them. Uh, we do not use add-ons for the sake of consistency, generally. We do not use offerings. Uh, to alter any gameplay, generally speaking, um, we are allowed to use BP offerings, but no Moris, no hook offerings, nothing like that. Uh, we are only allowed to have four trusty perks, and we need to win 50 times in a row. Uh, a victory, a win, is when I 4k, I have four kills every survivor, that's easy. Or if I 3k, if I get three kills, and the last survivor is forced to escape, either through the hatch, or if I close the hatch, they get the executes at whatever many gens remain. However, if survivors finish all the generators, and then even a single one escapes through the exit gates, that's a loss. Immediate loss, and the streak would be reset to zero. And we also used to consider a loss if multiple survivors uh, survivors escape through the exit uh, through the hatch with a key. Uh, because keys are so overwhelmingly present in my game, and we lost so many streaks to two people escaping, uh, I listened to your advice, and uh, to the feedback of many people, and I decided to change the rules a little bit to make them more fair. So if survivors bring a key and they have a three or a four man escape, uh, that would be immediately a loss and we would be set back. If they have a one man escape, I would count it as a normal three kill, uh, three kill with hatch. So that would be a win. However, and this is what happened many, many times to us, unfortunately, if they do the bare minimum amount of gens and then the last two people escape with a key, that doesn't really feel like a victory to me because, you know, losing two people should never be a victory. But it also didn't feel like a loss. Uh, because, again, you know, people can very easily do just a couple gens and then uh, wait it out. And that's unfortunately what happened to us many times. So I decided that if it's two people escaping with a hatch, that that would be a tie. It wouldn't reset our streak, but it wouldn't be a win either. So that's a rule that would change since last time that I thought would be good uh, to explain. And as you'll see, we had to deal with uh, many, many keys. But believe it or not, keys were not the hardest part of this challenge. It was actually the killer itself. Now, Ghostface is a fantastic killer. But one thing you'll realize about most people playing him is that they often bring recovery add-ons. There are three recovery add-ons, all of which reduce your cooldown uh, once you lose your power. And the thing about Ghostface is that you don't lose your power when you make a mistake. You lose your power all the time. If you whiff and uh, miss an attack, you will lose your power for 30 seconds. 30 whole seconds. And if you attack a survivor, you also lose it. And if you attack a survivor while they're exposed, even though that's what you're supposed to be doing, you also lose it for 30 seconds. There's no difference. And of course, if a survivor just happens to spot you uh, and break you out of your stealth, that will also mean that you're going uh, on a cooldown for 30 seconds. Uh, and these 30 seconds are an eternity. If you play this game, you know that se each second is really, really crucial and really, really important. And 30 seconds between being able to use your power is honestly really, really crippling. Um... I was considering hope maybe giving up one of my perks to allow one add-on, but um, to come like to 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 mitigate this really crippling waiting time, uh, one of my friends and viewers actually came up with a very ingenious build, and he suggested it to me after he had a go at it. Uh, his name is Vols, and he showed me this build that I'm going to show you on on screen right now, which consists of discordance, a nurse's calling, search and Hex Devour Hope. And this build immediately shocked me. In all of our previous tricks, I'm sure you've noticed, we have used extremely powerful um, gen regression and gen slowdown perks. We have used Corrupt Intervention. We have used uh, Pop Goes the Weasel to kick gems and steal a lot of progress. And Ruin, and sometimes even Ruin and Undying. And throughout all of my streaks, I have either used one or two, or many of these perks in conjunction, because that, I'm afraid, is what the killer meta is sitting at right now. However, uh, back to our build, this build has none of that. 
it actually relies a lot on 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 a lot of uh, on, on a different playstyle which at the time I didn't quite understand but after giving it a shot and having this build pretty much single-handedly carry me to 50 wins I've become I've come to respect and, and really understand um, so let me walk you through why this build works uh, the first perk which is probably the one that you could do away with the quickest the one that I would replace for something else if I, if I really, really wanted to, but that still gave me enormous value, is Norse's Calling. Uh, Norse's Calling used to be a really good perk, but when the killers had only a few good perks. But now other tracking perks that track generators uh, are usually more favored by killers, because they're more reliable. However, Nurses on Ghostface is just fantastic. Unlike other killers, Ghostface can lose his terror radius and approach a healing victim up until the last meter being undetected and then quickly down a survivor. But often, more often than not, that's not exactly what happens. If you find a survivor healing and you have your power available, uh, you can, for the most part, take advantage of it in multiple ways. If you think that you can interrupt the healing, you can cloak, lose your terror radius, approach and down them, which would be very, very good. If you know that you cannot stop them, you can also stalk them. And if you stalk them and 99 them, uh, this is what ghost faces do, you 99 the stalk, Instead of going 100% and marking them, you 99%, you, you stalk them almost to full and and leave them for later. And if they finish healing, it doesn't matter because later you'll catch them in 30 seconds or whenever you get your power back. And this also works really, really well when there's multiple survivors grouping up healing. You can catch them and you can mark them both and you can slowly catch them off guard one by one. And that is just a huge part of Ghostface. Uh, with other killers, you get uh, survivors injured and they're on the edge. They they are very, very careful. With Ghostface, you want to 99 their stalking and make them feel safe. Sometimes when you stalk survivors, they don't immediately realize what you're doing. And later they'll come by as the cavalry to, sell, to help another survivor. And then is when you take them down. So in my matches, you'll see a lot of sudden snowball where one survivor who thought was safe suddenly goes down and things get serious really, really quick. So nurses came in clutch extremely, extremely well. It would work even better with add-ons, unfortunately, but it still did its jobs very, very beautifully. It also really uh, helped us um, uh, to find, to, to rule out uh, where survivors could be. If I know survivors are not healing around me, I know that they must be doing something else far away from me. So it also gives, uh, gives passive information even when it's not active because it, it helps you rule out what survivors are doing around you. Uh, Discordant is honestly amazing. Uh, with Discordance, you will constantly know where multiple survivors are so that you can stalk multiple of them at once. I have found it to be more uh, consistent than uh, that other perks, such as Whispers on Ghostface. Uh, it's, it's less map dependent and it works a lot better throughout the match to give you information. Um, uh, knowing where multiple survivors are is, is always a useful thing. Uh, in in more than one way, yes, you can approach uh, you can approach there silently and and disturb mul multiple of them at the same time. You can approach them silently and often get a multiple people stalk, and that happened very frequently. And it's such a such a good thing about Ghostface. His early game can be tremendously powerful, uh, but it also helps you throughout the game. If the discordance never goes off, you know that survivors are splitting up, and you will adjust your gameplay accordingly. Uh, in late game stages of, uh, in the late stage of the game, when survivors need to desperately do gens together, you will be able to find them. And if one of them is smart or injured, you'll down them very quickly. And that will make the gen regress because the other perk that we're running is Surge. Now Surge, honestly, is just such a big brain uh, perk to bring on Ghostface. As a Ghostface, you're going to be in, uh, interrupting gens that are nearly done uh, many, many times. And in many of these situations, you will hit a survivor or grab a survivor or whatever, and then someone else will go and quickly finish the gen. Even with Ruin, survivors can quickly finish a gen that's done. But every time you down a survivor with Surge, you will be stealing uh, that, th that, that little bit of a percentage from a generator. And as Ghostface, m many times you will be insta-downing survivors. Um, not to mention that we also have a perk that helps us insta-down that we're going to talk about in a minute. So all the insta-downs from all the sources makes search so 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 good and you'll see the value uh, of it very soon it seems like such an odd perk to have in this build it seems like a perk in my mind that always complements other perks but it is just unbelievably good on ghostface if, if you really really know what you're doing and as you can imagine 
it's a lot more reliable than than other perks that require you to go out of your way to defend or that could be cleansed. Uh, now, talking about reliability, why would you ever want to have a hex perk that can be cleansed early that lets you insta down survivors while you are a killer that can insta down? That goes against every principle uh, that you know uh, that your game sense would would seem to indicate. And I honestly thought about that myself a little bit as well when this bill was suggested to me until I tried it and I started seeing the benefits. Hex of our hope honestly ties this build together in an incredibly nice way. So let me tell you what happens uh, in a regular game, which you will see happen in the in the games that you'll see in a minute. At the start of the game, before they know you're a ghost face, you go out of your way to often 99 several survivors and and try to and try to get them 99 so that they are easy to insta down later. You will often do this to one, two, sometimes three, sometimes all four survivors, right? And then you'll find one of them, and you'll down them, and you put them on the hook. And then one of them will come, and you'll stalk them, and you put them on the hook. And then another one will come. And, uh, and about the... And about you... Uh, at around the time you get three or four hooks, suddenly, everyone who has been marked has already been downed. No one is there on hook. The gens are... The first gens have popped already. The first one goes very quickly, unfortunately, because of your lack of map pressure in general. And they're at the point where if they start healing and if they or if they forget about healing and just do gens, if they play smart in any way, you will begin to lose. And this normally wouldn't happen because with your add-ons, you would recover very quickly and you would be constantly keeping pressure, keeping pressure. But without add-ons, this is about the time after three or four hooks, sometimes even two hooks, this is about the time where you genuinely run out of ammunition. You've already stalked them, they already know it's ghost face, everybody's really on high alert, they're not giving you stalks anymore, they're not giving you easy grabs anymore, and that is where this perk comes in. That is where this perk, um, that that forces survivors to get rid of it, because if you if they don't get rid of Devour Hope, there is the threat of you getting 5 stacks, and Devour Hope at 5 stacks, no, you don't insta down, you just straight up um, murder them, you moi them, right? So that threat forces survivors to look for this totem. And then at that point, you have multiple survivors looking for a totem. Uh, multiple survivors that might be marked. Some of them might be injured against the killer that can remove his terror radius. And that little bit of time and that little bit of pressure that this perk buys you covers so, so well for your small deficiencies and your inability to recover from your power quickly. It makes taking the time to stalk survivors early worth it, which you probably wouldn't need to if you had add-ons and you could recover quickly. But since we cannot, it makes that time investment worth it. At around that time, they need to worry about Devour. Even if you get small value from Devour and you only get a, an insta down or two, it is very, very good because that insta down that you get is probably on the survivor that you needed to get on the second hook. And honestly, I could go on and on about this build, but it might be something magical that you need to try yourself. Um, once you really, really focus on the insta down and managing the... To uh, managing the uh, the the hooking distance for the Vower to happen and all of that, this build just really comes to life in a very, very beautiful way. And I hope that you'll enjoy watching the matches. Some of the things that you need to consider when playing Ghostface, um, you need to understand how the revealing system works. If about one third, 30% of your body is revealed and visible to the survivors, they will be able to break you out of it. So when you lean out of an object, or try to stalk them, you need to constantly uh, try to calculate how much of your body they can see. Uh, a quick uh, a quick and effective way to avoid being broken out of stealth, that you'll probably see me do a bunch, is to quickly uh, hide back or crouch back and forth to hide yourself. So you can lean, um, find someone, stalk them a little bit. If they start to break you out, you can crouch very quickly and then come back up and that interrupts uh, their breaking you out of stealth. That's something that you'll see a lot. Uh, when you lean as Ghostface, I'm sure you know all of this, this is basic Ghostface stuff. When you lean, your stalking is twice as fast. And the stalking itself does not does not have any distance um, drop off. So if you stalk someone uh, from very far, and it can be up to four, 40 meters, um, you, you will stalk them just as quickly as if they were right next to you. Uh, you will also notice that when I stalk survivors who are very, very close to me, I look at the ground. Looking at the ground makes it a little bit easier for you not to reach the stalking limit. Uh, if a survivor is too close to you, you will not be able to stalk them properly within, I think, within three meters or something like that. Something very, very close distance. 
So if you look at the ground, that makes that distance actually a little bit worse because you're technically looking at their feet. It's a little trick that works with Myers, but that you will occasionally have to use with Ghosts as, as well. Uh, another trick that you need to employ, um, if you find a very short obstacle in the middle of the map, you can crouch, lean, and then stand up. And that will allow you to lean on a short obstacle, but still have the ability to stalk uh, while standing up, which you normally wouldn't be able. You cannot stand up and, and lean on absolutely nothing. But if there's a short obstacle, you can crouch, lean, and then stand up. So that's another technique uh, that we'll need to do. Unfortunately, leaning for Ghostface is a, ser is a server based uh, input. So when you lean off an object, depending on the lag, sometimes the leaning can be a bit laggy, which makes it a bit more frustrating than before. Uh, but that's something that you'll get used to. And if you learn to do absolutely everything like this, you will be a force to be reckoned with uh, with Ghostface. Now, normally in this videos, I take maybe two, three, four games that I think are remarkable. But generally, there were so many incredible games in this streak that I've gone pretty damn nuts and I've included many, many, many of them. Uh, I understand that it is a very long video and you might not want to sit through all of them, although I genuinely think that they're all really worth watching, especially if you want to learn Ghostface uh, and see what he can do, even with his limitations. Uh, but if you want to skim through them and watch some of the more interesting ones, I'm going to have some... Um, uh, some timestamps on screen right now with some descriptions in case one of the games uh, catches your interest. But let me tell you, all of them were very exciting, and the last three games, in particular, get really, really uh, wild. So, with that out of the way, I think I've told you basically everything that, that, that I employed for, for this trick. Uh, let me know if you feel like um, there is still more to be said about Ghostface, um, or if you have another build that would work well without add-ons. But that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it. I really sincerely hope that you enjoy these games and the rest of the video. See you in the next one. What? All right, Azerobs. Oh, this is a great Ghostface map. I don't think so. Not a horrible killer map, however. Thank you, Logbomb, for that. Any object? Oh, yeah, there's an object. Well, that sucks, honestly. That's the second. That's the second time we have something like this happen. Huh? We don't have a line of sight, apparently. That's unlucky. I can't come out, I'm gonna be revealed. Oh jeez. There's the object. Can I lean and maybe spot it? Does he have swimmers? No. Right. Let's let's tango, I guess. Go drop this and Let's see if I can do it in 40 seconds or less. He hasn't revealed me yet. That's a huge blunder on his part. I can see him perfectly. If he looks at me. I also know that he's looking at me. Yeah, that was a mistake. Search didn't go off, which means the other two are in one of those far gens that we're not reaching yet. Where's our devour? Did I just see it? Is this our devour? I can't even tell. Oh, it's over there. Okay, this is a very really awkward hook for the Mauer Hulk. I'm having to go to it. I'm gonna guess they're here. Yep. Only one? That means another gen's being gone elsewhere. Hello? I remember they have a key. That's good. That's not good for him, dude. What are you doing? You can see me quite well, I guess. We need to break this after all. Can't see me, but no. If I'm detectable, they can't see me. So right now, I am seeing him. They're not. They're not seeing me necessarily. Oh, that sucks. Good job, really, man. We don't know if this man has that hard yet. I think it's likely. There it is. Good job. They didn't have a flashlight. Medkit, medkit, and a key, and that's it. I rather go for this hook. So I can go back to the center and. You know what? We never kicked this gen. Two objects? I think they do have two objects. How do you explain it otherwise? 
Oh, you are here. Yeah, these two guys are friends. They call out each other's gems. That was good of them. Okay, that's good. I need to stay here until they get rescued. Can I? Can I do that? Alright, fuck it, dude. Whatever. Oh, never mind. I still got it. Beautiful, then. He sent me through. What do you think he's gonna do? The other guy is looping with him! <laughs> oh, man, you love it. You gotta love looping with friends. Why would you ever not do that, right? This sucks, not gonna lie. Uh, we got like, what, 10 seconds left? Oh, I don't think I can mind game this. Oh, oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. He mind game it himself. And a search, nice. Next on Hork, if we pull it off, uh, will be um, insta down. I think the Jeff will be on the Shen. That's a shame that that totem is so visible, however. Survivor Friends is an in to lose for killers? Well, not necessarily, dude. Survivor Friends are like half the players that you play against, and we don't lose half of our games. I mean, I lose sometimes, but, you know, not half my games. Not that bad. I guess we don't need to stalk him. I will. Uh, I will still. Just in case they f do it last second or something, you never know. Yeah, they're doing it already. That sucks. I need to go back. <laughs> they fucking see me. Uh, love it, dude. They've got the ass, so they can get away with whatever they want. Get that hard, you fucking cock. Oh, the cuts. Oh well. Do I want to eat another DS? With two gens, I don't think I can afford it, actually. I know these guys are mostly, largely over here, but they're doing too good right now. That guy is out of the heal- Dude. Dude, that's this is not even funny, dude. I can't even stalk him because he's still technically marked. Oh man. Oh dude. Unbreakable. That was so fast. I need to worry about the sizes still. I'm lucky. Got a spin burst. Yeah, this these guys are doing well. I'm sorry guys, this might be as good as I can do right now. That was close. If he has Unbreakable, and I think he does. Uh, weeps Weave, we'll see. I think he's up soon again. Yo. I try to body block, but he can't body block this guy as well. Let's go, is that our back? Okay, we're gonna have. Uh, can, they, can they potentially fuck this up? I think it's very difficult. Where the, where the hell is he going? Hmm. Base was not here either, so... Is it here? It is here, actually. Yeah. Do we have a 3 gen around this side? Yeah. We do not. This is impossible. Ace just needs to go on the bag and they got it. Go odds. It's gonna be very hard. But I guess what they're doing right. Oh, they are on this gen. That was kind of stupid. Alright. I'm actually gonna try to play around this fuck. Never know. Oh, they're on the back. Hatch is here. Good to know. I'm gonna be revealed as I approach. Oh, uh, never mind. They left. Oh, there, there, there's the scratch marks. They left this gen. When they missed the skill check, they must have left. Also, remember that, you know, I can be called out. They're all three right here. What? Oof. I don't get to insta on this guy. I need to go for whoever's injured and hit them with a good surge. The injured person's going back. We see that with the blood. Drop it. Okay. If we don't hit the surge, I think we lose this. This man's not in a great spot right now. But he can have that heart, don't forget. He will have that heart. Oh, that wasn't even a dead heart. Oh, the key uh, as well. They know where the hatch is, don't they? Why haven't they used the key yet? I think they're gonna try to now. Ooh. Yeah, good job, dude. I lost my... I lost my nerves there. Opportun to break it. The healthy guy's gonna be here. Oh, no. That is just unlucky, dude. We had one less add-on on that fucking medki, then I guess we got him. Unfortunate. Yeah, they got the other gen done eventually. You got Swimbers though. Okay, I hit that gen. 
don't know if we can save this, guys. What the hell is that? They just finished healing as I got them. Someone's here, however. Exegates. Are they both on my side? Nah, we're not lucky, dude. There's someone here. I just don't know where. I, I'm sorry, guys. Today we're having some rough fucking days, man. We got objects. We got lark offerings. They're 99ing this. Okay. They, they'll get the rescue. They can have adrenaline as well. This is gonna be rough. Remember they have a key as well. This pallet, I think we got rid of, but we haven't broken it yet. I think we break it now. They're in trouble. They got an exegate. They I don't think I can win this, quite honestly. They, that exegate, there's nothing stopping them what? from opening it right now. They've been very lucky, if you ask me. How to face count the second object? Why? Do like damage control and make them feel good about it so they can go, haha, self to kill or face camp. Okay, dude. I don't, I don't really care about it. This is not even funny. <laughs> don't forget this search last second to a med kit just to, you know, make sure that we go in with as little information as we can. It's been 40 seconds, mind you. And we haven't been able to procure a hit on this guy. Good for you, dude. All these stuns, it doesn't matter. I either, I either get stun and get the pallet or they get greedy and they don't drop it. Either way, I have to deal with the pallet, you understand, right? I can maybe, uh, never mind, like... I can maybe do this and like 99 him, but this is hard. We have to deal with that other pallet again. Like, they need to get rid of it, we need to get rid of it. Now they could go for the hatch. Yeah, they're they're on the hatch, so they all escape here. Hatch is to the right here. They didn't see it. Well, that was a bad play. What are they doing? What are they doing? Um, I don't know what they're doing. Don't forget Unbreakable on everybody, though. We'll go back and try to kill him, then. Is he the Nohawk? I don't think so. The guy you kill had the key? No, the Felix has the key, I think. But maybe you're right. Maybe they lost the key. I didn't realize. Why can't I see their auras? It's not that I can see them. It's that they can see me. And if I... And part of it... Part of their perk is that I see them, too. They don't get to see me if I'm undetectable, which is a small blessing, but that's literally all of there is to it. Uh, this is hard. I don't know how to defend this guy. I don't think there's a real way to do it. Uh, what do we do? Pretend that we're not here? Like, they're gonna know that I'm here by just looking. <laughs> With object. Yeah, they're gonna know. They might not know exactly where I am. That could be good, though. Can I do this? Can I do this? Nah, they drop this and they're out. Can I please? Can I please? Okay. Go vault it. Okay, I can body block this now. Let's start with this guy. Oh. That was a fuck up. That was a fuck up. He does have Unbreakable, though. So... We need to worry about the last guy now. He probably doesn't have Unbreakable and Solgar, however. There he is! There he is! Okay. How do I play around this Unbreakable? How do I play around it? I hook him there! Yeah, I wait a second, and then I hook him there. Does he have the sizes still? Nope! If the Ace comes, we drop him. Now his unbreakable is not as useful. Okay, just making sure I don't get that hard the last second. <laughs> Alright, now we pick him up again. He's trying to use it. Actually, we just wait! Uh... Okay. I think I might have it, but... There we go. He's dead. The other guy's gonna hit stage 2. And as long as we have a hook for this guy... I think we make it. 
Let's just figure it out. Do we have a hook for him? We do. Yeah, we make it. Unless you have flip flop or something. That's the key sound dropping, I think. Let me just make sure I get this. Got it. Unlucky, dude. Poof. Oh, guy, man. Nice save. They could have. They could have had a two man escape a long time ago, man. And maybe even a three man if they played it right. Uh, I mean, good good argument as to why you should never give up and you should look into your strengths and why you should never get too cocky as a Suaru, but... Oh man, that was just thoroughly unpleasant. Oh, it was a green key. <laughs> just psychological. Uh, a fear then. <laughs> that's why they didn't... That's why they didn't try it. The object guy didn't have a break hole, but the Jake... Which I called out earlier was Jake. Weeps weave. Wait, Jake didn't have it either. So how come they picked up so fast? I love you, dude. Yeah, I bet. What? <laughs> I bet, dude. I bet, I bet you love every killer you play against. <laughs> Do you think they'll explain how it works because the people will be able to game the system? True, Visa. But they need to at least give us reassurance that the system works well. Because I, I would be very, very upset. Let's say that there's a leak, you know? Uh, let's say that in a few months there's a leak that says, Ah, oh, uh, the matchmaking revealed. Uh, the new DVD matchmaking uh, leaks have revealed, let's imagine, that only counts the amount of kills and only counts the amount of generators done before you die as a survivor. I don't know, something weird like that. Then people, you know, th then we would be like, okay, well, no wonder I'm going against bad survivor. Like, I, I I feel like that girl will heal herself. That's all right. It's a shame we have to wait 30 seconds though for our power. We'll start getting some. Wait a minute. Did I just see someone? I did. They're gonna be here by the time I come up top. That's all right. Not the best start. I would have liked to dock them, but okay. Going to the right with my character there, very important. Makes her think that I'm going to overthink this. And then she leans herself into the palette a little bit, and that's the trick. Why no, I don't. I'm allergic to it. Oof. Alright. Forget about this Felix, even though he is here. And go for these two. I try to save this gen. Or get a good 99 of them. I'm gonna look sideways in case of Spine Chill. They should trick it. That's Neo. And that's another girl 99. Let's go for Neo. This is a tough spot. Tough spot. Random, thank you for that. So uh, I won't be surprised if. Yeah. Nah, that was deception. Good try though. I think that because she made that play, she actually left a really strong part of the map. She needs to drop this. Okay. That was good, but not good enough. I think she goes down here. I'm pretty sure. No search? I guess it's just slightly too far. But that girl's Neil 99, the Cheryl. We've got another stack here. And that gen, honestly, I think we're gonna lose it. Oh man, please give me a hook somewhere. Basement could have been an idea. How do you consider a good nurse player? They can hit their blinks well, they don't predict too much, they more like Oh, okay, that was a fuck up, I think. Oh, just in time. Did she make it anywhere safe? I don't think so. Okay, ideally, I get the fuck out of here fast enough so that I get the stack. Let's hope so. 24 meters. Oh, please. Yes. No, I'm too, I'm too close. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's the second. And this will be the third soon. Oh, that totem there is not going to last, is it? That's unlucky, that was that was unlikely to work, I suppose. Give me this pallet and I'll be on my way, dude. That was smart of him not giving it up. He did run into a wall a bit though. They're doing really, really well. Gentle for friends, man. Thank you, Ryan. 
We don't have a 3 gen too much either. That makes you lose distance. I don't think this guy's messing around. I think he's gonna use a dead heart now. Yep. And I think I need to go. Is there gonna be on this totem? That's unlucky. That's very unlucky. Oh my god, you're stupid. Oh wow, why would you come here? They can hope for heart. And now they know. Uh, I think they're crazy doing this. I'll come into heart for a little bit. And I'll come back, trust me. <gasps> Hold up. Use my power and come up top and literally rain on top of this girl. Did she fuck off Elsewhere? She fucked off Elsewhere. Okay, that was smart of her. She missed the skills, they're gonna just scramble. They're not gonna rescue her, they're gonna do the totem first. My opinion. So we shouldn't try to even keep the distance. Oh, never mind. They just got on it. Okay, I'll take it. That Nia is dead next. If we catch her. Okay, you have given me the biggest reason to camp someone. She does have Soul Guard, maybe, and think she can pick herself up, but that's 30 seconds, dude. We can count. Oh, dude. Does she have that hard? Remember, remember, remember. I could have hit her there. What is she doing? What is she doing? No, 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 I guess I can't do anything. This girl pick herself up, she wants to take a hit as well. Oh, I'll, I'll wait the 8 seconds, don't worry. With her, I couldn't wait because she had an unhook. But with you, I can. Nah, nah, I'm waiting the 8 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4... Alright. Uh, they all can DS me. But if I wait a couple seconds, I don't think that girl can do 2 gens. If I wait... I'm so confused. This girl used the Styptic uh, Agent to tank a hit. This girl picked herself up with Soul Guard, so has 8 seconds removal vulnerability. This guy has DS, so I have to worry about not picking him up. Isn't it fun to play a killer, dude? Isn't it fun? You, you have to kill survivors, but not too quickly, or not too fast, or not too efficiently. Your DS runs out in a few seconds. Her Unbreakable, however... He had an Unbreakable. Alright, cool. She's dead now. She went down in one hit because, you know... Alrighty, bro. She just picked herself up with... Uh, Soul Guard again. Soul Guard on Cheryl is more predictable. So, you know, don't make it obvious. Uh, I don't think you pick her up fast enough. Oh, never mind, you do. And her Spimbers is back. Damn, dude. Okay, we remember the dead hard. <laughs> this is a... This is a class in how to play around survivor perks, man. Alright, lesson number one, boys and girls. If a survivor picks themselves up... That's okay. I need to pick her up because don't forget that Soul Guard, unlike Unbreakable, Soul Guard can be used indefinitely. As long as you're hexed, as long as you're cursed by a hex, Soul Guard can be used indefinitely. And if that guy has Soul Guard as well, he's usually he's Unbreakable once, I believe. I think he'd be up by now if he could. Yeah, I think he'd be up by now. Let's pick her up. If we were a bit, you know, a bit less on point, or if they didn't mess up as much, and they had a bit of a comeback there, or if they got my totem, or, you know, if anything went slightly south, all they had to do was just power through one or two more gens. They would have powered through one more gen easily if the mech wasn't forced to come here, because literally everybody went next to each other. So, yeah. Careful. You need to have a good internal clock and count 20 seconds for Unbreakables and 30 seconds for Soul Guards. Or normal pickups, if, you know, if someone's there to pick them up. So here's the Soul Guard. Here's the Unbreakable from, um... Uh, Soul Guard from Cheryl. Unbreakable from Felix. The Styptic Cajun from Nia. The Deception that we called earlier. I really like when people run these builds, because at least you don't have to worry about all these other perks. But, you know, if you run this gimmicky build and you use a strong item, I don't have a problem with that. And then the Spring Burst that we saw from Meg. Did you... Don't play it all. Um, thank you for the double blood points as well. Cheers, man. 
This one else. Sorry for the murder. Yeah, this would have been a this could have been a really hard match, man. If they got to use those perks like a little bit better, this would have been potentially unwinnable. Oh man. This is honestly even a good ghost fist map. I I'm a little bit terrified. They have a key. And the hatch will spawn in the main building because they use an offering. I'm gonna come here myself. Why oh, didn't oh that's bad. That's really unlucky. I would have liked to. Can I get a hit on her at least? Now I've spin bursted away. So she saw me, it revealed me, and now she's out. The staircase should be here. I can't believe she gave me a free hit there. I think we'll catch her. She had life. That's really smart. Oh, you got body shamed. I'm so sorry. Not at all. Hold up, I think I might be able to stalk through this hole. Hold up, this is even better. Okay, good enough. I don't want to actually pull this stalker. 99 is good. We know Claudette will be on that gem. The one that revealed me. Likely, at least. Oh, that's such a shame. We got our totem in the worst possible spot. Oh. Bless. It was called that. That sucks. Yeah, that, I, to I talked about it in the map tier list video. This map has two spots for totems that are very, very consistent. Where you almost always get a totem there. And they are so easy to see. It's, it's quite gross. You might not know that I'm coming. Really? Really? You are here? For some reason. I'll, eat, I'll happily eat this DS. I lose my power, so I can't even use it on the other girl. This was completely on purpose, by the way. That was no accident. That's alright. She'll be tunneled later, and she might regret it. I can't do much here, can I? Uh, how many seconds? Eight seconds. I just want something out of her. We'll go elsewhere. Oh. Well, we need to go elsewhere now. If she gives me a free hit, uh, I down her, maybe. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna go through the staircase. That's really unlucky. They'll heal though. Do they know? Do they know? Do they know? That is a disaster for them. Okay. The injured person we don't care about so much. Ugh. I think basement time. I noticed some of them were... I think they were sabbering. They healed the 99 person, that's perfect. They don't know anything. Literally everybody's a target as soon as I get my power up. They're doing a test here for some reason. Okay, drop it, drop it, drop it. Life? Does she have balance? That was very convenient, I wish I could have followed her better. Oh, that's very convenient for me though. You die now. Get up. Uh, let's check real quick, see if anyone's coming in. No one's coming in, I think we can put both in the basement. If someone comes in, I wouldn't be able to do much because my power's coming back. But after this, I can literally camp the hatch and 50% of the survivors that can come for the rescue will go down in one hit. I, uh, the, ex the hatch also spawns right here. Uh, I mean the entrance to the basement, sorry. I'm I would legit body block this until I get my power back. I legit can do that. So, who, are we who do we need? Mm, it's the Nia, right. Yeah. right. Uh, we're not going anywhere, dude. I'm so sorry. Legal to camp? This is the most entity sanctioned camping you've ever seen in your life, dude. If they were both 99, even better. Doesn't matter if they are kindred, they won't send me with undetectable. Go to Jans, you got four of them, dude. Alright, now it's three. Why is he camping? Because the hatch is about to appear right here.
How do you know? I have powers, dude. Also, they use an offering that makes it spawn in the... Bigos Blueprint, it's called. I don't remember the name. Um, it's an offering that makes the... Makes the hatch spawn in a particular way. Obviously, if the hatch spawns in a particular... In a particular way, that's... Really good for the killer, because he knows immediately. Right? But it's even better for them, because if they have a key, they can they can do the required gems. And then have a 2 or a 3 or a 4 minus cave with a key, you know, depending on what they do. And they don't have to look for hatch, because they know it spawns there. So we played around that. Alright, it's alright. So, yeah, sorry about that much. That was ugly. But satisfying as hell, dude. Green Pantry offerings? They didn't use an offering. Uh, I'm just frustrated because today we have had nothing, nothing but offerings, nothing but objects, nothing but keys. You know, sometimes every other match, sometimes, you know, multiples in every match. It's just weird, dude. Did you all play it all? Oh, Sanctum of Wrath. Very good. Uh, the Scordons will be huge in this. If they're in one of these corner gems, we need to know as soon as possible. To score them, to score them, to score them, to score them. <gasps> There's an object. Well, you're 99 for later, homie. Yep, 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 yep. I'm leaving. I want to catch someone else off guard. It will be good to know that there's someone that we can always go back to. Oh, I saw scratch marks. You see them there? That means there's someone in front of me right now. I'm doing jumps. That's crazy, dude. Are they splitting up like mad? No, the scordons yet. Oh, well, that object has found my totem. Pilot's landing on Neo. Nothing too surprising there. That's good. That's really good. She should reveal me now, but we'll see how it develops. That's pretty good. That's unfortunate that you lose your power when you when that happens. I think that's gonna be main building. Yeah. That's unlucky. We're gonna lose this. Me thinks. My power just takes 30 seconds to come back. This is terrible. But I was gonna be revealed no matter what, wasn't I? That's good. Seven and a half seconds. You think we can do it? You think we can do it? I think we can do it. I think he's running away. That was honestly the smartest thing he could have done. This sucks, man. We have great prep, but this sucks. We're losing two gems for absolutely no reason. They have an easy pallet save here. Don't hurry. Oh, hurry up, dude. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. We need to be very careful about not exposing all of them at once. That gen might have no one, actually. I had object, dude. I had object. Yep. This is rough. Someone is here, though. What about? There she is. I'll pretend I haven't seen her. No, no, I just... Give us an edge. Thank goodness. Uh, I need more pressure. Uh, hit the Steve. Hit the Steve 100%. Because the other girl's 99 and I don't have my power back. They will finish another gen if they stay there, but we got something going for it. Uh, she's a saboteur. Or they have breakdown or something. Is that... That place was fun. They do have an obsession, so... Obje obviously with object, that would be the case. Okay, I need to make this really hard for them. Okay, okay, object dickhead. What now, dude? That Jenny's back. Uh, that hook is back. No, don't! Don't! Oh, come on, dude. She blocked herself. She'll have Unbreakable. That is really unfair. That is really unfair. I should have thought about it. I had to go and check if, if it was Breakdown or Sabo, though. Because if I picked her up and there was nothing there, that was no good. 
Chat on break. That is such bullshit, dude. That is such bullshit, dude. You fucking quant. You fucking quant. Literally nothing you can do about that one. That art, use it. You predictable quant. Oh man, that's exactly what she tried. Let's hook him first, then we hook her. This was just one game, dude. Use that heart. This was a one game if they didn't have Unbreakable on, on Steve, which I don't think they did. Oh, uh, we do have her power back and this girl can be instant down, that's good. Alright. Hook her anywhere. She might not know this. You're gonna do it again? Yes? Okay, dude. Bring more unbreakables then. Oh man, they are guiding my hand, I swear to god. Ah, oh, fuck it. Ah, oh, fuck it. Uh, he's dying, and I'll pick up the object. I, if she wiggles out because we dropped her, I can't afford that. I, I genuinely cannot. So, we need to figure out where the last person is. Unbreakable is a one-time use. She, the other girl's also bugging herself. So I can't pick her up, but don't worry, Steve dies in two seconds. And then there's the end of that. How nasty must you be? I did not disturb that bird. He's here. Okay, dude. Uh, object girl, the fame, I have uh, Unbreakable as well. We pick her up first. Stop being nice, that's not my points, dude. Oh. oh, right. So why did that work out? Because we had literally everyone 99. <laughs> Other otherwise, if they, you know, if I had to wait the 30 seconds uh, for each hit and stuff, and, and I had to start, we did a good, we did good prep work at the start, if that makes sense. Oh, dude. And they were, they were, the, the obsession was careless. Uh, the other two were careless, and they allowed me to 99 all of them. Nasty piece of work, dude. Nasty piece of work. Uh, it wasn't breakdown. It was, uh... Double. Yikes, man. Uh, don't glitch yourself on the hook, by the way. Like, that's... that's hey, rude. I think you closed the door accidentally. Oh. Not a tech. I don't think it's intended. Uh, who's that? Uh, Shermanator, thank you for the whole year together, dude. Okay, what? Shadow is the girl that has an edgy outfit. Oh, oh, is the sunglasses guy? They have a key. Uh, okay. Oh, dude, why did I use why why did I use a sacrificial ward? If we went to the hospital as Ghost Fist, that would be really good. Although without Adams, it's not as nice. Dude, if I end up going to Haddonfield now because I undid the thing, I'm gonna cry. Did I send myself to Couch? Oh, Thompson House, that's terrible. Uh, I sent myself here, basically. But it's not too terrible, it's not too terrible. We can, we can handle it. Alright, Discordant would be really, really, really useful if it triggers in the first few seconds. If not, we have an idea of what to do and where to go. Alright. She sent me immediately? I think so. She ran off. Oh, hold up. We have an opportunity here. He saw me. Going shag, which is not good. And I lean out of here. Oh, okay, dude. Do it. Good enough. That's three people doing nothing. Oh well, that's a bit of a stretch. I think she had spring boost, that's why she was walking. I'll still get a good pilot out of you, dude. Should I have my stuff back. He needs to drop it now, I think. Okay. Uh, 20 seconds. Do we catch her? This is really bad if we do not. I don't even see where she went. Oh dear. Yeah. We don't catch her, but we got pilots out of her. Not ideal, if you ask me. 
But these are gone forever. It's gonna be a real shame though if the rest of the game plays out far away from these places. I can't even stalk her, the crone will stop it probably. Alright. No Discord themselves, which is actually really scary. There's a means three gems will pop separately. We could have. He was nearly 99. We could have maybe tried to do that. I think the effect will be similar though. Oh man. Yeah, that's another gem that's gonna pop. Oh fuck. This is hard. That hard. He's got it. Oh, please. We hit that gem. Yeah, this is a really late start. A good thing though, we hook him in a place with literally nothing. Because all the pallets here have been gone and there's an LT wall. Let's go back and try to stop that gem. Uh, totem is not even in a great position. Yeah, actually in a pretty bad position. I think that's an LT wall. Get rid of them. Have faith. It's not over yet. It's going to be our, one of our harder games, me thinks. Let's see if we can catch some heal with nurses. That'll be good. Oh my god. Don't forget nurses. Uh, don't forget... Who did I catch? Oh, I, ca I caught him! I'm so sorry, David. You need to go down, my dude. Oh, uh, we can hit Diaz now, I guess. Yeah, well, either way. Where the fuck did he go? We got Diaz and we go for the gen, I guess. Yeah, we have to. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Where's my power? Where's my power? Seven and a half seconds. And they're all nearly stuck. Whoever's not stuck is the key girl. Rimbers. Oh, that's good. That's great. We barely managed. Uh, cooldown, unfortunately. Uh, we did get rid of the pallet in the shack. This is rough. I say hooker and get the stack for her and then go for David. This is gonna be difficult. We should see him healing somewhere. He finished healing. And he's got another pallet here. Damn, dude. He's well gone. I, I can't even tell where. Wow. Don't forget he's got a gen there that's nearly gone. This is rough, guys. They've been splitting up a lot. That's good. I'm scared. I'm generally hooked. Okay, David's 99. No DS anymore. That DS hurt us a lot. That's what I feared. Fuck, I did. Fuck. Oh, do we have a 3 gen now, at least? Not really. My power is it's too long. I could not, I could live at 99, but... Oh man, I think they win this, guys. With a key as well? Yeah, I think we we'll lose. Two survivors there. He's got a pallet there, he's gonna go, obviously. Good. Good, good, good. We needed this. Who's healing there? Please don't finish healing. She missed a skill check. That's good. That means she cannot finish healing quickly. Oh, that gem's aggressing. She's got an L2 wall. Mm. Uh, that hard, maybe? Okay. Hooker. We got um, Devour Hope, which is good. I should have remembered that. They'll be looking for it, and they might find it. You have Devour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it could be popping, we don't know that. Oh, yeah. Is his medkit on his hand still? It's not on his hands, he's got a... Wait, one, two, three, four, five... 
Are you serious? He had the styptic agent. Quacks. Key, styptic, map offerings. Long well, I remember that. This step is dead. Hook him, kill him, and handle the rest, and keep an eye on the key. If they get a 2 minus cap with a key, that's a tie. Glad I remember that. No discordant, so... They're not jumping on the Shen. Nurses, thank you. Go for the injured girl if you can. The hatch hasn't spawned yet. Go for the injured girl so they don't have a 3 mana escape. Good. I think she's also there on hook, but I'm not sure. I think she might be. Will you please be careful? He's just waiting there. I need to wait out for the DS, I think. Unbreakable? That's unbreakable. Alright, dude. That would have been really huge. Then to break it? Oh, she's getting her spimbers back. If she doesn't have it. That's what she's trying to do. Unlock it. Oh! Okay. That's a tie. If she doesn't get to it, that's a tie. I'm very sorry. We would have lost this streak right now. I went two seconds. Or her DS is more than gone. This is painful. Yep. Alright. They decided to take a two, man. We changed the rules, so... I am happy to not count this game, dude. This is like not good, but think about everything with it. They're gonna see, you're gonna see four DS's. One, two, three. At least one unbreakable, two unbreakable DS's. One styptic that we called, the key that we called. And yeah, how many spimbers that are just the usual stuff. These people are out to hurt you, dude. And we played around the styptic really, really well. Because we actually remember that he had a... He didn't even use it in front of us. We remember that he had a medkit from before. Imagine how bad he would have been if we hit that guy. That was game lost right there. Who said GG well played? Because they did play well. Three deaths. I'm telling you, these people play like they have DS. And obviously the, the spring burst we saw, the dead hearts we saw, the unbreakable we guessed. So yeah. I would have... It would have felt really, really, really bad to lose the streak here. But following your advice, I changed the rules. If they get a two-man escape, we don't count this game. It's a tie. It's not a win, but it's not a loss either. So we move on to the next one. Oh, she chose the map? I mean, I chose the map because I was pretty sure they were going to send me to Haddonfield, you know? And I guess they... I guess they had the idea. But, yeah. Uh, you never know, dude. If I... Think about it. If I went to the hospital, it's true. Oh, hospital is very good map for Ghostface. Is it really? Because you don't get to stalk people very much. Because the lines of sight are not, are not really there. Ugh... And you, you only get to insta down them or, you know, if you play hit and run, which I cannot do with my add-ons. And then it's true that we could have, if it wasn't hospital, it might have been Macmillan. But Macmillan has some scary maps. If you go Macmillan Cold Tower, that's a fair, that's a fair map. If you go Macmillan Stuff a bit, I think it would have been really hard with all the dead hearts and spinbers and stuff. But it could have been doable. But if we go Macmillan Shelter Woods in the open, tough. Macmillan... Uh, Iron Works of Misery, we have uh, we've lost streaks there. And my Miller Throne in Storehouse, absolutely disgusting. So, I think that honestly, honestly, Thompson House wasn't even that bad, despite having to deal with a lot of pilots at the start. And they knew exactly what they were doing. Very, very, very rough match. Oh my god. Dude. All right. How bad is our devour? I think it might be quite bad. Let's go over the top and see if we spot someone. If they're on the shag, we won't be able to dock them very well. I need to go there, dude. Can't wait. At least they won't see us coming. Let's see where the door to shag is. Uh, door to shag is actually right here. Oh my god, brand new parts. Oh my god, brand new parts, 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 brand new parts. Brand new parts. 
Nope, 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 nope. No, 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 no. Wait, the power drop. They're gonna be back on the shin. Like, with ill intent. I told you we needed to go here, dude. Items to scratch marks. I think this guy's still here. I'll check real quick. Well, I get my power back, I guess. He's 99, so that's good. He hasn't touched it, which is, I guess, good news. Alright, uh, obsession, so potential DS. We'll keep that in mind. Horrible time. Don't try to win daring contests with Ghostface. Uh, that gem we might have to give up on. Oh my lord, dude. Frame burst? Look at down this guy. Another search. Oh! That's... Okay. We beat one of the toolbox. Uh, but yeah, they have they have two gems. They have two gems done already. And it would have been three in like two seconds. Oof. Oh boy. Alright, let's get another power stack. I'll admit that we're gonna be on... On the... On the defensive here. I don't see them run immediately. I don't know why. They finished healing last second. Oh, 30 seconds of no power now. That sucks. That really, really sucks. Because of the pallet stun. We would have not been able to stalk her immediately anyway. Okay. Uh, fourth survivor is going to be doing a gen elsewhere. No, nope, never mind. He's going to give me a stack here. This sucks. Why am I nervous, dude? There's a lot to be nervous about. They had a super easy start of this game. This is good. This is really, really good. Really, 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 really good. This girl is now vulnerable. I'm just, oh, hold up. I heard breathing of a girl. So, okay, I'm gonna lean so that it's faster. That's great, dude. And another search to that gen, which must be at zero by now. Let's pick her up because she's not been hooked. And if that guy has DS, it actually can run out while I hold this a little bit. Yeah, this can be done. This was a bad mistake. If he's got DS, he'll rescue you and I'll get a stack regardless. I'm eating the DS. Great. That's two stacks of the power. Good, good, good. Yep, heal, heal, heal. Unfortunately, we didn't get it. Too close. Or she called it or something. I think we were too close. I need to be very far away. Don't bother stalking this guy. Because we'll get a third one. No decisive though, I'm pretty sure. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Perfect timing. Good stuff. Hook them fast and pressure them quick before they find it. Keep an eye on the Devourer spot as well. Yeah, it's pretty easy to spot, but it's also pretty easy to defend, I guess. We never hooked you, did we? We only injured you. That heart coming up? Guy has the timing of a god. Okay. Uh, basement, maybe? Nah. Don't bother. Work a hook and defend the totem. I think I saw a, a bird? I'm not sure. So what do you guys think? Brand new parts or prove thyself? They had some beefy two boxes, the two of them. Not on the totem, because I see a glow well. Did they heal? <gasps> That's all three of them. That's all three of them. Have they spotted me? This is perfect, dude. Wait, 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 wait. Alright. I pick him up. I bring him towards my left a little bit. If they unhook. Are you serious? She's healthy. How long did... Okay. Well, either way. We need to be far away, though. I haven't found the totem. That's good. I think time's on our side, for once. Seven and a half seconds, and I get to use my power, too. They're all injured, so Insta doesn't matter anymore. Come on. I would stalk that guy, but we have five stacks at this point. It doesn't matter. I'll hook him. Because I think it's quicker. Than more in him. But anyone else we find, we more right now. And we keep an eye on that totem. Bastards. DS, maybe. 
Yeah, could be the ass in the locker. That would be a really good Oh, iron wheel. Sorry. We've been fooled before. Okay, I think they have a hard time now. Ooh. Uh, birds back. Someone's been around looking for them. They haven't found it though. Yeah, someone's around here. I'll cloak and if they reveal me, they'll basically tell me where they are at that point. They don't have a key or anything, I don't think so. We don't have to worry too much about doing a gen and double escape or anything like that. I don't think they'll do gens. I don't know what they're gonna do. This was a tough one, dude. Yeah, someone there. I couldn't tell because of the color, but yeah, he went through the back. Did he go left or right? Left or right? <laughs> Doesn't matter, dude. This is a guaranteed three kill, dude. Oh. Nighty night. This guy's probably know that nothing wrong. But the two Jakes, oh my god, dude. They would have gotten away with a lot. Uh, they did great splitting up. They did great doing the gen super fast. If I didn't have the scordons and I took like three more seconds to go in there and I didn't have surge or ruin or something, that, would have, that gen would have been gone. Sure. Oh, that was lucky. It's also very lucky that they got greedy and they decided to try to finish it. If we didn't get that first down, this game I reckon would have been a horrible, horrible start. Buckwood Blade? Come on guys, let it go dude, let it go. I misspelled it. Yikes, man. Normally I'd be like, oh, it's rank 11. So it wasn't brand new parts. It was literally just, just normal two boxes. Without proof thyself. <sighs> okay, it's not the absolute worst, and the Scordons does help a lot in this, uh, in this map. So let's hope. Also, windows in the main building can be all right. I'm expecting the Scordons to go there, there, or there, and I don't know where it's gonna be. So I heard crows. Are they just random crows, or was someone running through there? Random cross, it seems. Oof, Christian split up. I'm gonna find you guys. Don't bother grabbing. Wow. No one's here. That is not a great start. FCG. Insanely fucking well timed, dude. Hold up. This is Dwight. No, sorry. Or breathing. That's a bit Dwightish. I'll be useful for later. Wait, that's three people. Do you think they've seen me? Search changes everything. She would have committed to finish his end. Uh, that's two people, 99. One person on the ground. What's the closest hook I've got? It's been... It's been sabotage. The fuck? Oh, gotcha. Um, I'm afraid of that, actually. I think they'll sabotage it again if I let them. They had two toolboxes, didn't they? I think Dwight's here. Alright, I'm gonna take the risk, but don't be afraid to drop if we need to. Yep, they're gonna do it again. Alright, Dwight. Let's tangle. That's pretty smart. Oh, 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 if we catch this girl self-caring. Okay, that's huge for us. The last person, literally, 99. And we know where she went. She must be doing that gem by herself. And now that she's seen all of this, she must be coming, right? Surely. She must be coming if she's not already here. There she is. Uh, seven and a half seconds when we get her power back. And she's 99. I'm gonna make sure I break it from the side. It doesn't give her access to her teammates. And they can have unbreakable spell. At least we'll force them to use them. Where the fuck did she go? Hello? Oh, nice. That was smart. Right about now. Good stuff. We pick her up first because she could have a miracle. Everybody else would have used it by now if they had it. Except maybe Claudette. But I think Claudette is fine too. And now we're now, we're now one win away for 50 wins in a row. That triple call won it. Uh... Did I, did I stalk the Dwight to death? I did, actually. Oh my god, I forgot about that. You're right, the, the stalk on the Nia 
Oh man. Oh, the surge came in clutch, dude. Even Ruin wouldn't stop a gen like that. Because Ruin needs a few seconds to proc. You know, you hit a, survi a survivor, you go shloop, shloop, and then they, and then they finish it in front of your face. With surge, that's immediate 10% or whatever regression. Of course, thank you for the gifted subs. One more, guys. One more. Oh, dude. Exalting chat. I'll apologize. That was uh, an unfortunate way to go. This is why we didn't see the totem, sorry, the hook go away. Because of the protective gloves. We had a match recently where this actually really came in clutch for them. Jeez. Oh, they're all console almost. Probably won't read it. Now let's see if we can make it 50 ones. Alright. It's a farm map, but it's probably the better one. Ah, <sighs> wish me luck. That totem seems to be in a... Uh, I think decent spawn. That looks like a short, long wall. Yeah, dude, let's go. Okay. Normally, I would be very, very concerned about that, but... This could be a grab. I'm gonna look away to full spine shell. Okay, it is. I literally... I can... Okay. That's a shame. Is that an object? That is an object. Well, that would have been really different, I tell you. Uh, Nina, I can't right now, my love. Forgive me. Reversed? Oh. Little bit of not too bad. Dedicated? It happens, man. I guess I should have... That hard? Uh, search on the gen, but not on the one that we're working on. Watch out with... Uh, Dwight. He's not around, we don't hear him complain, but he could have Iron Will or some shit. Okay, we take that gen, we destroy that pallet, we try to look for the health. Honestly, realistically, I want to get the hell out of here. But... Yeah, yeah, it's better. Let's break this, and then get out, allow for the bower to get a stack. Get behind this wall and do this. Could it be on that gen now? Yeah, it could be, actually. That's great. You never know. Wow, they finished that. Uh, uh, he doesn't know. He knows that I'm around, but he doesn't know exactly where. I can intercept you. If he could go for the rescue, that would be great, but... Yeah, you're not gonna make it, dude. We got- I'm so glad we got rid of this pilot after all. That hurt. Oh. Alright. Stack is good. Uh, just... Down is even better. Dude, I'm too close. I'm literally too close. I need to step up. Right. Hopefully that's 24 meters. Whew. Is this Nia still here? I think I saw her just now. They'll go for that LOB first. And now I need to... Okay. I need to be far from Dwight as well. Just... Just crouch enough to confuse her. That's good enough. That's very good. We lost something, and I think you're gonna see a discordance on that gen, or at least one person on that gen. But by the time they do a couple heals or whatever, we ought to have the bower working. And hopefully that gives us a bit of an oomph. Let's go, dude. Play dirty if you need to. There's an obsession. Obviously, there's an object, so... The, the limit, there's a limited amount of things we can do. This is good. He doesn't know which way I'm gonna be coming from. Oh, they're both here. Okay, let's hide. I want one of them to run into me. Primbers on this map? That was a bad spring burst. You don't make it anywhere, dude. Uh, decisive, however. Hmm, it's an idea. We don't have our insta on just yet. Good, 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 good. good. I either decisive or I don't, but they don't know about my insta now. And if I had a decisive, this guy would be better. I tried. Let's see if we can catch some healing. Dude, come on, dude. Like, literally, half the survivors have decisive one. Right now. How stupid is this? She did use that hard, though. That almost tells me that maybe she's a threat. It could also be a bait. Come on, dude. Come on, man. Come on, please don't hit me. Fuck, oh, guys. I hope three of them back to back, man. This is not fair. This is not fair. They know they have decisive, so they're telling their bodies just do gems. I don't appreciate that. They finished this. Oh! Ah! 
Okay, this search is gonna come in clutch. Someone's here. I need, I need more, I need more pressure. Get the pilot out of her and then flip the Dwight, I guess. Good enough. Colonel Dwight. Uh, we need to mine our gens. We don't have a great three gen, so not so simple. Oh, oh, this kill's here. Don't forget unbreakable. Fuck, she's in a good jungle gym. If he, if this guy unbreakables me and he will, I mean, deep shit. Get more stacks going, so they're afraid of Amori. We know uh, one girl run there doing nothing, and two girls are on that gen. No discordance. They've been splitting up fairly well, but they could be there. Don't break me, cock. Might be looking for a totem elsewhere. This is good. A bit of a dead zone. Let's try to cut her off from anywhere else. Does she make it to that pallet? That hard? I've seen it. You stupid fucker. No. Okay, this is good. Two people that don't hook. Two gens left to go and no decisive on both because we literally have eaten it. So we know for sure. One person on a gen? Oh man, we can't let that Dwight heal. We can't. They did a good job finding it. I think we're gonna see nurses. If not, they might be playing even smarter. Oh, don't let him heal. Oh my god, he healed last second. Literally last second. He's in a good jungle gym here as well. Never mind, he's not even interested in the jungle gym. Uh, he's- you've got object, dude. I'm gonna see you. If you look at me. He doesn't make it anywhere. He's dead. Oh, uh, never mind. I think he makes it to the window. No, he doesn't. Those guys are healing. Okay. I can maybe handle- I can maybe handle this. Kill him as soon as possible. He's already hit me with the S. He doesn't have it. Someone's nearby. Nia probably went back to the gen. Nia, you should have hidden. I'm gonna catch you and I'm gonna kill you. Uh, we know someone's here. That's it. We down this girl. We chase this girl. We down her and they're gonna have a hard time. Unless they have adrenaline or something crazy. I think we're gonna have a hard time. We know someone was around there though. Good, 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 good. Using Dia, getting Diaz out of the way early hurts, but it can be worth it. I would like to insta on her if I can, so she can't use Styptic or anything dirty on me. Because that would hurt right now. Wait. Oh my god. I'll take that. Alright. I'm like, who's revealing me? Obviously, the person on my back. Oh, dude. I think we may- Oh, and you're here! And you're here. Oh, dude. I thought she would be on the other gen about to pop it or something. Oh, man. Bless. That girl could Kobe still, and they could do some dirty things. Let's not take it too much for granted. Quick and quiet. She went through that window fast. But, oh, I think we did it. I think they're in a really rough spot right now. Let's mine him here. There you go. One hit, and that's it. Don't get stunned, see where she goes. Use my power to zone her. That girl Kobe's and finishes the gen and they get adrenaline or something. They have another gen 99 and it's not over yet. Let's fight for it properly. Damn, dude. This girl has a good pilot and a good window here still. The other guy cannot try too many more times. He tried once. He entered the summon. Alright. Alright. Reasons to celebrate. I don't think they can get this rescue. If she's lucky, she gets the hatch, but that's still a win in our book. If we're on point, we catch her before she does that. Ballad there was dropped. I think we never broke it. Oh, okay. Dude. Thank you, everybody, for watching. You just... Oh, man, get 50 wins in a row with Ghostface without add-ons. And without a heart left. What a... What a string of matches we've had. <sighs> Jesus. Uh, props to these guys, you know. Uh, obviously, I'm extremely entitled, expecting to win 50 times in a row. And expecting everyone to play by my rules. If I ever am mad because survivors run good perks, which I'm running as well, forgive me. But man, man, the film. Bitches, everybody. Thanks for. Thanks for taking this ride with me. Oh. Alright. thank you for the gift that's up, my guy. That does a lot for our community. The win of the 50 winking face. <laughs> Sorry, I got the best part. Cheers, man. Let's say GG to these people.
How many of the sizes they had? There's the object on the Dwight. They just what? had three, but well, we had the majority. Did she will play it Oh man. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'm quite proud of this one. Ah. Oh. Jeez.